fiery horse with the speed of light, the cloud of dust, and a hearty Ohio Silver, the Lone Ranger. Colonel Gerson, whose wealth reached out to develop the vast resources of the Far West, decided to strike at the heart of the Barbary Coast. In an effort to stamp out the viciousness, Gerson sought for and found the Lone Ranger. This mask rider of mystery, though reluctant to leave the plains and mountains of the cattle country, answered the call and smashed the forces of evil in the Barbary Coast. His work in San Francisco finished, Tonto and the masked man headed north for the gold fields and the land of big timber. Return with us now to those thrilling days of yesteryear. From out of the past come the thundering hoofbeats of the great horse Silver. The Lone Ranger rides again. Come on, Silver. There's danger on the trail ahead. I own Silver. Holy! In the immediate years following the great discovery of gold in California, prospectors came by horseback, wagon trains, and on foot pushing back the wild frontiers as they raced into the hills north and east of San Francisco. In Placer City, Rance Taggart was on hand to personally supervise the arrival of six heavily loaded freight wagons. Big and well-dressed to the point of luxury, Taggart looked the part of a successful mining engineer. All right, listen, you men. Anybody wants to work for the California Prospect and the Mining Corporation, report to my office this afternoon. What's your wages? What are you paying? Yeah. Ten dollars a day for dredging. Uh, well, you got to do better than that, mister. Yeah. Ten dollars just about pays for a man's breakfast in this town. Eggs a dollar apiece. And I'm from Kentucky. Eat a dozen for breakfast every day. <laughs> I'm paying ten dollars a day. Take it or leave it. Two drivers. Get them wagons unloaded and come into the office. I'll settle up with you. Come on in, Mr. Taggart. Hey. Don't mind if I make myself at home in your office, sir. Well, as I live and breathe, Buzz Atchison. Yeah, it took a spell for your letter to catch up with me, but I finally got here. What's the trouble? No trouble yet. <laughs> but uh... Yeah, I know. When Rance Taggart lights the way, somebody gets burned. And then trouble. Uh... If you ain't forgot how to use them six guns you're packing, you might get a chance to earn your wages. Well, I'm here, ain't I? It shows I ain't forgot how. So now you're a mining engineer, huh? <laughs> What's the deal, Taggart? I was noticing them wagons loaded with boxes and crates. Mining equipment? <laughs> That's right, mister. Some of it's the most successful kind of mining equipment. Never fails to produce high-grade ore. Yeah? You'll see. I was listening to your speech out there a minute ago. You really figuring on getting men for ten dollars a day? Certainly not. You really think I wanted to hire some men? Well, what goes on around here? What kind of scheme you up to? And what are you hiring me, or rather, my guns for? You'll find out soon enough. Meanwhile, just keep your eyes and ears open. When I need you, I'll let you know. Sure. And listen, Buzz. For the time being, it's just as well if nobody's savage you're on my payroll, understand? Beat it, I'll see you later. Yeah. I don't care what it costs you to live here. I'm offering $10 a day for dredgers, and that's it. Well, what do you want? 
Forty dollars wages, too, I suppose? He ain't hiring me for ten dollars a day. Yeah. Well, Mr. Taggart, uh, I'd like to make you a proposition. Yeah? What kind of proposition you got? Well, my name is Paul Maystead. I've been in this country almost a year. Yeah, well, that's very interesting. I know this country like a book. Been over every inch of it. And I know where there's placer gold, Mr. Taggart. What are you telling me for? Why ain't you working it? Well, about two months ago, my wife was taken very ill. I nearly lost her. Took every cent I had to get her down to the hospital in Sacramento. I sold my outfit and everything. And then, well, we could just barely scrape up enough to get back to Placer City. So now you're coming to me for a grub steak, huh? Well, the answer is no. And no, no. I tell you, I know where there's gold, rich gold. Sure, sure, everybody knows where there's gold. Just go out to California, pick it up in a bushel basket. I'll give you a chance <laughs> to make a profit. Nothing doing, Mason. You can't lose. Honest, all I need is two or three hundred dollars. Now, for listen. Fitting. There's 40,000 prospectors out here, stone broke, and all they need is a few hundred dollars for an outfit. And they all know where the gold is, only they can't find it. I'm sorry, the answer is still no. All right. I thought you were a smart mining man. The reason I came to you. I saw those wagons pull in, and I figured you had the equipment to open up a real bonanza. Bonanza? Way. You mean you already found a strike? You mean that No, you... I haven't found it yet, but I... Well, I'm reasonably sure I'm on the right trail. <laughs> you won't be on the right trail until you hit the trail back east, Mason. <laughs> and, uh, anyway, my methods of mining gold are, uh... A little different from yours, Sam. All right. I won't beg you. But I will find someone. And I'll find gold, understand? So much gold, it'll start a bigger rush than Sutter ever dreamed of. Thanks just the same, Mr. Taggart. Yeah, that's all right. And, uh, hey, uh... Yes? Wait, uh, wait a minute. I just thought of something. You, uh... Uh, where is this location you got in mind? Oh, I only wanted to share it on a grub stake basis. Not give it away. Mm -hmm. All right, you can share it with me. I'll support you 500 simoleons for an outfit. You really... You mean you'll... Oh, mister, are you serious? Sure. Here you are. There's 500 in that poke. It's yours. This afternoon, we'll get an agreement made up. It's the usual thing. You get your outfit, and we'll both ride out to look over the place. Well, it's out in the Trinity foothills. Oh, golly, mister, wait till I tell my wife. And you won't be sorry, either. Gee, somehow I knew you'd help me out. Gosh, thanks. Thanks ever so much, Mr. Taggart. You won't regret this partnership. It'll bring you gold. <laughs> yes, sir, it'll bring me plenty gold, amigo. <laughs> And Rance Taggart's the boy that's got the equipment to excavate gold. Sure fire equipment. Gold. Precious, treacherous stuff holding forth a glittering promise to men of adventure. Gold luring men onward, ever onward, to wealth and power and disaster. Over a thousand trails into the rugged north country of California came the gold seekers. Good men and bad infected with the poisoned promise of sudden wealth. High up in the Trinity Hill Country, where Mad Creek winds its turbulent way down to the Sacramento River, a pair of stalwart horsemen reined in their mounts where the trail came close to the canyon rim. Oh, Silver, oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. With an impatient toss of his magnificent head, Silver, the great white stallion of the Lone Ranger, whinnied a piercing challenge to the wild country, a challenge that echoed and re-echoed across the canyon. <laughs> Steady, steady, boy. Steady, Silver. Ah, ah, ah. Silver, him look plenty good. Yeah, this has been a great trip, Tonto. I'm sorry, in a way, that Dan couldn't have come along. He'd get a big thrill out of this country. Ah. Uh, Dan catch plenty white man savvy at school. Come on, Silver. Get him up, Scout. You and I may never see it, Tonto, but one day this country will be one of the richest regions in America. Perhaps in the whole world. Ah. Uh. The men who settle this country will only realize that nature must be controlled, not conquered. How you mean, Kimasabi? No one can estimate the wealth of this region. Gold is only a part of it. So are the millions of acres of virgin timberlands to the north. Oh. 
men will learn to utilize these precious assets without destroying them, the richness of this country will remain. Otherwise, it will be just another case of quick wealth for a few and quicker disaster for many. Uh, look ahead there. Plenty fast river. Yes, that ought to be Mad Creek, and I... Otto, it looks like a wagon in trouble. Ah, him big freighter. That wagon won't stand the pressure of the stream very long. Come on, let's go, Silver. Get him up, Scout. Oh, Silver, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Easy. Howdy. You fellas just in time. I'm sure in a fix here. Been trying to... You... Uh... What's the mask for, mister? That's not important right now, silly big fella. <laughs> Don't worry. We're interested only in helping you. Yeah? Well, if you're a couple of owl hooters, I can tell you right now, this freight is hauling nothing but mining equipment. Otto, get those horses unhitched and lead them up to the opposite bank. Uh, uh, you, mister, let's get this wagon unloaded. Why, sure, sure, you bet. i glad to have some help. Well, this is not very heavy stuff for mining equipment. <laughs> yep, I noticed that, too. Oh, doggone it. Taggart will sure give me one for if there's anything busted in that box. Yeah, I'll get it. You say Taggart? Who's he? They operate a mining company in Placer City. Well, they ain't exactly operating yet, but they sure got a rich strike from what I hear. Hey? Him and Paul Maystead, the fellow he grub staked. Paul struck a rich just across the valley yonder in the Trinity foothills. Looks like they ought to clean up big as soon as this equipment gets operating. Hey, uh, let's see. Otto, give us a hand here. Uh-huh. Just a few more boxes to unload. Howdy, Mr. Taggart. Where you want that stuff unloaded I just brought in? Well, yeah, uh, that new building going up across the street. Just put it in there any place. Be careful handling that stuff. Sure, sure. Sure took you long enough getting here. Huh. Wouldn't be here yet if them fellas hadn't given me help. Yeah. Got myself mired trying to ford Mad Creek. Then along comes his mask down, bring his engine part, and say, we got out there jig time. <laughs> By jingle, them two sure has husky pair now. Now, wait a minute, old timer. Did you say that one of them was wearing a mask? Yeah, I sort of knows he'd run a little, but he figured it was his own business, so I just... And he had an engine part, huh? Yeah, call him Pronto or Hondo or something. Tondo? Yeah, sure. <laughs> you must know them fellas. Tell me, the mask man ride a white stallion? Yep, biggest I ever did see. <laughs> Say, hey, look, I got to get busy. Got a lot of freight to unload. Settle up with you later, Mr. Taggart. Yes, yeah, sure. You sure asked that teamster a pile of questions that you said, how come? Big man wearing a mask, riding a white stallion. With a pard named Tonto. That's the Lone Ranger. The Lone Ranger? You mean to say that masked man is... Right. He had a while back he was in California, but didn't figure on him getting up in this country. So now, amigo mio, you can start multiplying my wages or get yourself another hired man. I sure ain't going up again that mask, man, for chicken feed. Wait a minute, Buzz. Yes, that's it. That's just exactly the ticket for Mr. Lone Ranger. (laughs) Yes, sir, and a one-way ticket at that. What are you driving at, Taggart? Uh, uh, Just to sort the reception for the mask man, Buzz. Uh. Well, you sure better know what you're doing, my friend. Don't worry, boys, I do. This time tomorrow, the Lone Ranger's going to be swinging under a tree, Savvy. And you and Neil have clear sailing. (laughs) Yes, sir, if I do say so myself, this plan is perfect. The curtain falls on the first act of our Lone Ranger story. Before the next exciting scenes, please permit us to pause for just a few moments.
now to continue our story. Paul Maystead had been cradling the soft gravel-bearing earth on his claim since daylight. While the gold in his poke had been disappointing in quantity, Paul felt keen satisfaction at the richness of the specimens he'd taken from his claim. Now, as dust descended over the Trinity, the young man wearily put away the rocker and headed for the crude shack where he lived. As he entered the single tiny room, Paul struck a match and lighted the oil lamp on the plain board table. The yellow light flickered feebly, then brightened as the lamp wick was turned higher. Oh, oh me for bed. Daylight comes too early this time of year. Oh, boy, I could sleep for a month. Well, better get some beans together first. Can't swing a cradle all day in an empty stomach. Who's that? I'm a friend of yours, Paul. I don't try to hide your poke. I'm not interested in that. I were, but I've already taken what you have buried under the floor. That mask. You must be up. What about my cash? Did you... Yes, I looked. Only because I wanted to know how well your claim was paying out. I didn't disturb the gold. It's still there. You're a strange kind of outlaw. Paul, I have something to tell you which you won't believe. Or at least you won't want to believe. Unfortunately, what I have to say is the truth. I still say... Oh, no, you're wrong. I'm not an outlaw. No? Well, that'd be hard to prove wearing a mask and packing two guns. Let me ask you. Where did you live before you came to California? In Texas, why? Then perhaps I can identify myself to you after all. Here. You know what that is, Paul? Well, sure, a forty-five cartridge. What about it? Say, this bullet... It's made of silver. A silver bullet. That silver bullet came from Texas, too, Paul. You, you're trying to tell me you're... You're the Lone Ranger. Is that it? I want to tell you about something that happened this afternoon. Something you should know about. What? Well, my friend and I had occasion to help a freighter hauling equipment across the mountains to Placer City for your partner, Mr. Taggart. Yeah, he said he had some special mining equipment coming. I'm sure glad it's here. You won't be glad when I say that some of it is very special equipment. And, uh, while it may operate beautifully for Mr. Taggart, I'm afraid it won't do you much good, Maystead. Some of it? Yes, one of the boxes was dropped, corner broken open. I saw what was inside the crate. Go on. It was full of gambling equipment. Roulette wheels, barrel layouts, chuckle luck games, well, I... and... Well, that doesn't make... I don't understand. I came here tonight because I was suspicious of both you and Taggart. Now, I know that you're honestly working this location. Evidently, Taggart has other plans. But he's an engineer, Mr. Taggart. I don't like what he's engineering. I... Listen, I'm coming, a rider. Listen, Maystead, turn that lamp down a little. I'll stand back here in the shadows. Just don't let on that there's been anyone here except yourself. Hey, anybody home? Oh, there you are. Oh, come in. You're Mr. Atchison, aren't you? That's right. Folks call me Buzz. Hey, you sure got it dark enough in here. Oh, I have to save on oil. It's too expensive. Yeah, that's right. Everything costs like fury. How's the claim paying out? Well, it's... Uh... Yeah, never mind. Only if you got any gold laying around this shack, you better see it's in a safe place. Yeah? Yeah. Or else that mask hombre is liable to come along and help herself. Mask? You mean... If I remember rightly, you come from Texas, didn't you? You ever hear of a Jasper called the Lone Ranger? What about him? Well, he's here in the gold fields and plumb busy, too. Cleaned out Rance Taggart this afternoon, lock, stock, and barrel. Taggart's so doggone broke, he's offering to sell his share of the mine you're working. How does he know it was the Lone Ranger? Why, a dozen people saw the fella. Big man wearing a mask, toting two guns. He rode out of town on a big white stallion. That's him, ain't it? Yes. Yes, that's him. And he's standing right back there in the corner. Look out! Oh, you knocked a lamp over me. Instead, I missed him. Too bad, Atchison. I've heard about you. It's a shame your accuracy isn't as good as your speed. Maystead, you got a gun? Yes. Well, then let's get him. He's right back in that corner. Let him have it now. I have to try another corner. He's over by the door. 
There's $5,000 reward for his hide, Maestad. Mr. Taggart's got to be mine in the valley looking for him. Come on, let's smoke him out. But he hasn't fired a shot yet. I'm... Hey, I got him. Here he is. Ah, you blasted fool. That's me. Let go, you crazy idiot. I tell you. I work, boys, and now. Maybe this will settle your problems without any more gun. Go on me. I'll kill you, you sneaking varmint. Your killing days are just about over. I... No. Now a little light. Kimo Tabi, Tabi here shots come fast. All right, Toto. No one hurt. Here, get a rope on that man. Uh, me time. You, you lied to me. You said that... I didn't say half what I meant to, Maystead. You're certainly acting like a fool. I wanted your gold. I'd had time enough to get it before Atchison got here. By the way, do you know this man, Atchison? Oh, I've seen him around Placer City. I don't know. I've seen him all over the Southwest and a hundred different reward notices. He's a killer with a price on his head. If I'm not mistaken, he's on Taggart's payroll right now. But the robbery, didn't there you? There wasn't any robbery. Somehow Taggart learned I was here and used that robbery to get the miners out after me. Now listen, Maystead. I'm giving you one more chance to save yourself. You better show some sense. I can't figure this out at all. Now don't try. Oh, no, get that man outside and on his horse. The four of us are riding into Placer City. But miners, them plenty mad and look for Lone Ranger. I'll save them the trouble. Come on, let's get Atchison outside. Uh, you sure hit him plenty hard. Me bring horses. Come, Scout. Here, Silver. Aren't you afraid to ride into Placer City? Miners may not listen to reason. That's a necessary risk, Maestad. Come on, get on your horse. Steady, just fella. Now we're going to see just what methods of gold mining Mr. Rance Taggart was planning to use. Get Come on, Silver. Come on, Scout. <laughs> In Placer City, Rance Taggart had succeeded in stirring the miners to white heat. Groups armed with every conceivable weapon were preparing to strike out at daylight and scour the surrounding hills. $5,000 in gold for the capture of the masked man, dead or alive. Hey, got 5000 in this poke that belongs to the man that brings in the Lone Ranger. And I'm warning you, he's greased lightning with his guns, so don't give him a chance to use them. There ain't nobody safe with him running loose. Just remember your women folks and your kids. I just hope I'm the one to lay my gun sights on that thieving polecat. Now's your chance, Tiger. Hey, 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 when Blazer hey, said that? I did. And don't any of you men make a move until you hear what I have to say. I have two men covering this crowd with rifles. And they know how to use them. It's him, the masked man. Jeez, the masked your game is up, Taggart. Yeah. The other games you had in mind won't ever get started. What, what do you mean? You had a grand plan. Not satisfied to take a chance with these men on finding a real strike... You decided to make one of your own. He's crazy. Get him, boys. Get him now. Hold it. I'd hate to see innocent men get hurt on this man's account. We've got Atchison, Taggart. Had him safely out of the way. But you'll talk when the time comes. I don't know any Atchison. Why don't you men get this, hombre? Me? I'm willing to listen. This fellow done me a favor. If you're so all fired anxious to get him, you've got a gun, Taggart. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks, old timer. This afternoon, I saw some of the gold Paul Maystead's been taking from his claim. Uh, it's rich. The richest kind of placer. Sure, we know that. But it hadn't come from Maystead's location. Well, well, now, wait a minute. What are you saying, masked man? Sorry to tell you this, Maystead. But those specimens I saw in your cabin came from a dozen different mines. But I found that gold on my own claim. Yes, and you found it because Taggart put it there. What is it? The claim was salted, and you found it, which removed all danger for Taggart. He was just the partner who grub stakes you. That's enough of this confounded talk. The Lone Ranger is fooling the whole bunch of you. What I say can be proved by the men in Placer City. What about the robbery in Taggart's office? Yeah. 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 Cleveland that? Crook, clean the yard. Slick as a whistle. Taggart, if you're a mining engineer, you'll have a chance to prove it. If you're the crook I think you are, we'll prove it. What about that robbery, masked man? Yeah. I don't think there was any robbery. We're going to find out right now. I know. Now, you men have a miner's court. I'm here to give you a chance to find out whether I've committed any crime in Placer City or if there was any crime committed. If Taggart was cleaned out, as he says, where would he get $5,000 for a reward? He's a thieving liar, boys. Get him. We'll you'll see who's lying, Taggart, just as soon as you open the safe in your office. The safe? No, sir. I got private papers in there. Another thing. You've all heard how Taggart was bringing in special mining equipment. Yeah. You men... Go across the street and break open those boxes. That's private property. Keep out of there. Go on. You'll find some mining equipment and also a lot of crooked gambling devices. That's how this man does his gold mining, with crooked gambling games. I say, let's look. 
Some of them boxes was doggone light for mine or two. Come on, Haggard. We're going to look into that safe of yours. Oh, no, you ain't, you blasted middle. Look out! Look I'll out. show you. Look out, he's got a gun up his sleeve. Oh, broke my arm, you... Otto, bring up that other crook. These men can tie them up together. Now, if you want proof of what I've been saying, go look in Taggart's safe. Then look at his special mining equipment across the street. You'll see that the robbery, the real robbery, was only about to begin. <laughs> Mining engineer. <laughs> he sure was fixing to excavate some pay dirt from us fellas. No wonder we're selling them claims so fast and furious. Yeah, that fake robbery. That'd give him a perfect excuse to offer his share of the Maystead strike for sale. A thieving coyote. Yeah, but to think I lugged all that gambling equipment clear across the mountain for the low-down skunk. Huh. Wonder how he figured to get that in operation. His plan was simple. Too simple, to be honest. You see, Taggart having the sympathy of the entire community... But have sold his share in Maystead's so-called strike for a fancy price. Then he would have used that money to open up a saloon and crooked gambling hall. Uh, well, the miners' quarters meeting this morning to take care of that Jasper and his partner Atchison. And if you ask me, the meeting ain't going to last very long. Uh, just one thing more. Are you men? Don't let this cheap trick of Taggart's cause you to move out of the valley. Even though the gold Maystead found was planted, there's real placer gold in these hills. Hold on to your claims and keep looking. Don't worry, I'm sticking. Good for you, Maystead. I've got to stay here, whether I want to or not. I might just as well look here as any place. I've struck it here before. Come on, Tonto, let's get to the horses. Ah, Silver's count just crossed. Hey, listen, listen a minute. Yeah. We found more than $60,000 in Taggart's safe. Money he stole from us with his worthless claims. I say let's take that money and start building a real town here. Sure, sure. 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 we ain't getting much gold now. But there's enough to keep us going until somebody makes a real strike. That's the best idea yet. Because Rance Taggart ain't going to need no dinero, I'm a thinking. And we can use it to make up for some of his skullduggery. We'll have a school for the kids and maybe a post office. Your dad gum betcha. How about that, mass man? Hey, where's that fella, the Lone Ranger? The story you have just heard is a copyrighted feature of the Lone Ranger Incorporated. <laughs>